Today, a group of faith leaders asked Hamilton County District Attorney Neil Pinkston to turn an investigation over to the U.S. Department of Justice. They accused the sheriff's office of using excessive force. The group also wants the feds to look into what they call unfavorable conditions at the Silverdale Detention Center, which is operated by the sheriff's office. Karen Aguilar has this story. Karen. Greg, District Attorney Pinkston in a statement says he accepted their request, asking the DOJ to look into the Silverdale Detention Center as well as a recent incident involving an officer who is accused of using excessive force at a traffic stop in Collegedale. In this letter, the Chattanooga Clergy for Justice asked District Attorney Neil Pinkston to get the DOJ involved with an investigation for, quote, a pattern and practice of misconduct by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, end quote, and also, quote, conditions in the Silverdale Detention Center, end quote. We have previously documented 19 instances of abuse by the Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies since Sheriff's Hammond election in 2008. One deputy identified by the clergy was fired, but many others remain on the streets. The group says they've been documenting this for years. On April 18, 2022, three former detainees filed a lawsuit claiming that they were forced to participate in a known initiation practice in which new detainees are stabbed. Their webpage cited news reports on the alleged instances. We've submitted several open records requests to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office for more context. We do have the affidavit of their recent allegation of excessive force ah! regarding College Dale officer Driscoll, who used a taser on driver Delane Gordon. It claims Gordon was speeding and resisted arrest. Uh, this Get is out. all on tape. Please stop. The spokesperson with the College Dale Police says they are working on a statement since this is an ongoing investigation. How would you suggest police officers handle someone who is allegedly resisting arrest in that instance? When incidents come or this nature or magnitude, officers are supposed to refer to the use of force policy and their training. If their use of force training uh, says that he should have done what he did, then we need to look at their use of force policy and change those use of force policies. He says if the DOJ takes on this investigation, they hope the sheriff's office would sit down, talk with the community, and come to an agreement on good use of force policy and training for officers. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says they plan to respond soon in a news conference. We support officers. We support police officers. But we don't, we don't support police officers who violate citizens' civil rights and use excessive force on citizens. Hamilton County Sheriff's Office tells us they haven't scheduled a date for the press conference yet. Keep with Local 3 News for updates as this story develops. Reporting live in, chat reporting live in the studio, Karen Aguilar, Local 3 News.